we'll have uh, one of our elders, Mr. Frank Barnes, he'll come and he'll read us the vows. Of this. So you all hear me okay? I'm not yelling at you, I just want you to hear. Pastor Shane, yes. Ashley, do you renew the vows which you made when you received the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior and entered into the full communion of this church? We do. Do you acknowledge that your child is a sinner in need of the cleansing blood of Jesus Christ and of the Holy Spirit? <laughs> do you claim God's covenant promises on this child's behalf? And do you look in faith to the Lord Jesus Christ for this child's salvation as you do for your own? We do. Do you now covenant and promise in humble reliance on the grace of God to bring up your child to love God and to serve Him to the end that your child may come to commit his life to Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior? We do. Now also, uh, not just vows for us, but since we are a covenant community, and this child is now joining, in a sense, that covenant community, we, I have a question for you that you as a congregation must listen to and answer. So here is your vow that you must take. Do you, members of this congregation, undertake with these parents the covenant responsibility the Christian nurture of this child, do you? Yes. Two more things before we get to the water. I want to read to you the covenant. This is what this child and the other ones are being baptized into. So listen, this comes from the Word of God. For to you is this promise, and to your children, and to all that are far off, even as many as the Lord our God shall call unto him. And I will establish my covenant between me and you, and between your seed throughout all generations, for an everlasting covenant, to be a God unto you, and to your children after you. Believe in the Lord Jesus, and you shall be saved, you and all your house. That's the covenant. Now, it was also customary in that time for the father to read a blessing over their child. And so I've written a blessing for her mother and I uh, to read over her. And so listen in as I read that to her. Karis, as your mother and I bring you to this day, to this occasion, we want you to know that we love you. You've been a wonderful addition to our family, especially your unique personality and your quick smile and your exuberant spirit. Among all these things that your mother and I hope for you and pray for you, it is this among all that very early you would come to love Jesus. We pray that as you grow in the Holy Spirit, that that Holy Spirit would cause your heart to treasure Jesus above all else. Above all else. Even the good things in your life. Even above your family. Even above the love of a brother and sister. The love of your mom and dad. Because we know that in the end, Jesus is all that will matter. Love him for who he is more than what he can give you. Grab hold of Him and do not let go. May your heart always rest in the glory of Jesus.
to baptize her, Karis Floyd, because her name, Karis, means grace. And that's what we hope for you. The grace of Jesus. Karis Floyd, I baptize you in the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's pray. Jesus, thank you for grace, and thank you for Karis. Or we stand amazed that your call to us to include our children. Father, we would pray now for her, for all of us, that her name would be a symbol for what you would do in her life, life and in our lives. That your grace would continue to pour from your cross to her and to us, moment by moment, that she and we alike would cling to you and not let go. Jesus, be with us today. Be with her. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> I want to present to you Karis Floyd. <laughs> Amen.